Alright, Simpiwe, obviously there's a big, big, big world title fight coming up very, very soon. How's the preparation gone it for, towards this fight? Yeah, preparations went very well. Yeah, this has been a good camp. It's been hectic. Yeah, and now almost at the end. This is the last two weeks now. Yeah, we're just polishing what we, we've been doing during the, the camp. Uh, we went hard. Uh, Nomaganjan has been pushing hard. Uh, Hex has been in the game. He's, he's been in, at the camp. Murudi has been in the camp. So it's been uh, a, a good camp for me. Uh, fully prepared. Uh, all departments. I'm ready. Yes. And what about Thailand? Are you ready for the conditions that you that you're gonna be under? Yeah, th Thailand. I'm not worried. I'm not worried too much about it because uh, I'm fully prepared. Uh, uh, and I'm go and I'm gonna go there. Uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna have a week there, just to acclimatize. Of which has, I think it's gonna contribute a lot uh, into our preparations. We have worked hard. You, you you're gonna see the results uh, by yourself. Uh, that that the, a week there is gonna help us big time. Yes. Wang Hang Many Earth in 53 and 0. It's sort of a you know 53 guys have come. You number 54 uh, to fight him. Can it be 53 and 1 for you? It's definitely a 53 and 1. It's high time now. It's high time. Uh, his time is up. Not, dis not disrespect to him, but his time is up now. Uh, um, uh, I, I, came, I, I come too far to go there and lose. Uh, it's my time now. It's time, to, it's time for me to shine. I've been chosen. Bro. I'm the chosen one. When you see 53 and 0, but it's not necessarily the best guys that have ever fought him, I think maybe you'll be up there with the best. Uh, how do you see it? Yeah, I, I, I've seen his, his opponents there. I, I, I haven't seen no big name like the names that are fought here in SA. Uh, like Oheki, Nomapere, and Osi, or Okwaiba, or Ufundis. There's no big names like the ones I fought here in SA. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like I'm seeing a song. Bro. I'll be, I, I have like a, a, a yes, I have five losses in my record, but I've got the big guns in my record. I have no easy fights. You can check all my fights. How much yeah. of a step up have you had to make um, in your game since the Joey Kanoi fight? No, a, a, Joey, a Joey Kanoi fight, uh, uh, it, that fight doesn't count because we didn't see uh, actually what was going to happen into the fight because the fight was, on, was still at the beginning. But people were, were, were just shocked with what, uh, with, with the boy, they had just caught me. Uh, but that was just the beginning. Uh, I was still cold. Uh, as I was, start to, I was beginning to warm up in the fight, and then we had a clash of heads, and then the fight wa was off. Yeah, all in all, we, we've been uh, hot box, uh, work, hard work here at hot box is a norm. We always work hard. You, there's no changes too much that you can. The only, thing that, the only thing that we change is, is just the strategy. Otherwise, hard working is, is a norm. You, you, you know it yourself. Yeah. It, even ever since I came here, I've been working hard in all my fights. There's no fight that I, I went like, ah, I took this one easy. I've been going hard the whole time. It's just the strategy. Is in, it depends on the opponent. You know, talking about the hard fights, as you said before, you've never really had easy fights. Uh, fighting outdoors, have you done that before? Come again. Uh, fighting outdoors, have you done that before? No, I've never fight outdoors. It's going to be the first time for me. Of which uh, I'm not worried about it. I think it's going to be cool. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know because I've never, I've never done it before. I've never been there. But uh, this week that I'm going to be there, surely it's going to play a big role yeah. on my acclimatization in, into, in, in, according to my condition, into my body. <coughs> How hard? Do you think it'll be to to win this? Is this, this is definitely the biggest fight of your career. Uh, maybe Heki at the stage was the big fight, but this is definitely on, in terms of titles, the WBC world title will be only the third South African to do so. Um, how hard do you think it'll be to capture the title? Yeah, this this is this is a big shot for me. This is a big one, no doubt about it. Uh, everybody knows a WBC is no is no child's play. Uh, when you go there, you gotta you gotta know your your you gotta know your cards. So I'm going there knowing that uh, knowing my cards, 
<laughs> but I'm not going to reveal them now. Everybody is going to see them after the fight. Obviously, you don't want to reveal too much, but do you have a sort of prediction in your head that you got for this fight? Yeah, I have a prediction in my head, but I don't want to tell no one. <laughs> okay, no, it's, it's fine. But it's a, it's a prediction that I have. I sh no, I don't, I don't want to tell no one. Okay, let's keep it simple. You're predicting that you're going to win. Yes. That's it. By a knockout. What is the message you have let, for let people? Let me just say, no, I'm yes. going to win by knockout. Oh, by knockout? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. And then, lastly, a message for South Africans that will be supporting you uh, while you're in Thailand and hoping that you're going to bring back the good news. Yeah. Especially... Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, a big shout out to my to my to my sparring partners Heke and Moruti, uh, and Coach Wuss. We've been we've been working hard uh, to all the South Africans that are behind me. Uh, uh, stay put. This one is coming home. This is my time. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> yeah, God doesn't smoke trees. This is not a fluke. This is me. I'm 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 there by choice. Yeah.